If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. Today we are going to learn about the general form of equation of the circle. Now in our previous lecture we have seen the standard form of equation of the circle and now we are going to discuss the general form. There is no need to get confused between the two. Let's see how they differ from each other. Standard form of equation of circle that we have seen in our previous lecture is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square or x square plus y square equals to r square. Both of these are the standard form of equation of the circle. Now from these equations you can easily understand that what is the center of the circle in this case and in this case as well. But what if you came across the equations like this if we take h equals to 1, k equals to 2 and r equals to 3 and put these values in this equation in the standard form of equation of the circle what we will get x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 3 square. If we solve it further what we will get is x square plus 1 minus 2x by, uh, by expanding the formula plus y square plus 4 minus 4y that is equals to 9. If we rearrange this we will get x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 5 equals to 9. Let's move the 9 on the other side. x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 5 minus 9 is minus 4 equals to 0. If you came across the equation like this and you will be asked that this equation it belongs to which curve whether it is the equation of circle or ellipse or parabola or hyperbola and how you will be able to understand that this equation belongs to which uh, which conics so in order to understand this a general form of equation of the circle is derived with which you can easily compare such equation to understand and to find or you can also say that from this equation can you find what is the center and what is the radius by looking at this equation no we, as we don't have any information by just looking at this equation that what is the what will be the center and radius well from the standard equations we can easily find the center and radius of the circle so keeping in view this concept a general form of equation of the circle is derived if you take this e example the then general form of equation is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Now how it is formed? If we compare this equation from, the, from, the, from this one, it is clear that it, these are same x square plus y square. Now this minus 2 is equals to 2g where 2g is a constant. Here this minus 4 is equals to 2f where 2f is a constant and this minus 4 is equals to this c so a general form is derived where the constants are used for the general form of the equation so this is the general form of equation of the circle now let's see how you can say that what will be the radius and the center of such equation for that purpose we have uh, we have to derive the uh, uh, the radius and the center of uh, from this equation of the from this general form of equation of the circle so let's derive it as as we have the equation of circle general form of equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c now by looking at this equation we cannot say what is the center and the radius of the circle for this purpose what we have to use we have to use a completing square formula by completing square so that we can convert it into the standard form what we will get we will get what we, by completing square formula what we can do is x square plus we have to rearrange it as x square plus 2gx we will combine the x terms plus y square plus 2fy and move the c on the other side now what we have to do we have to use the completing square uh, uh, completing square method 
in which we have to make a complete square. So what we have to do is x square plus 2gx plus g square. We have to add and subtract g square so that we can make a formula. So if we add g square here, we have to add g square on the other side as well. This is the rule of math. That if you are adding something from your own side, then you have to subtract the same in order to cancel its effect. So we have made a formula like this. Then same is the case here. Why we have used g here? Because we have 2gx here. As a is x and b will be g. So that's why we have used g here. Then y square plus 2fy. So we have y. So we have to add f square. And we have to add f square on the other side as well. So which formula we are making actually? We are making actually a square plus 2ab plus b square is equals to a plus b whole square. So what we have done? This is a square, this is 2ab and this is b square. Same is the case here. This is a square, this is 2ab and this is b square. So using this, now we can uh, use the, uh, we can convert it into the formula of a plus b whole square. That is here we will have x plus g whole square plus y plus f whole square will be equals to minus c plus g square plus f square. So this is the form we have got. This is the equation number. If I say 2. The equation number 2 and 1 will be, if I write here, the standard form of equation will be the equation 1. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to r square. This will be the equation number 1. So we have to do what? We have to compare 1 and 2 for finding the center and the radius. 1 and 2. For finding the center and radius of the general form of equation as we cannot take it from this equation. So we have compared and we have seen that x is same but what is different here is g, f and this radius. So let's compare it is it will be g will be equals to minus h, f will be equals to minus k and r square will be equals to minus c plus g square plus f square. So from here what will be the center? Center of general form of equation will be as we know that the center of equation 1 if I write here this is the standard form of equation. Its center is h and k and radius is r. So what will be the center of the general form of equation? It will be from these equations. From these equations it will be minus g and minus f as this negative sign will move here and this negative sign will move here. So this is the center and the radius will be if I further solve it, it will become r is equals to under root by taking square root on both sides minus c plus g square plus f square. So the radius will be under root minus c plus g square plus f square. So this will be the center and radius of the general form of equation. So general form of equation, whenever you came across the general form of equation, you can use these so that you can easily find the first the g and f and then accordingly the radius from the given equation. So that's all from today's lecture. Stay tuned in the next so that in which we will see how you can uh, show that a certain equation represents a circle and how you can find the center and radius and it will be about general form of equation. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.